Okay, so this is a another update video on the Eon Scara. So, uh, yeah. So at the moment, this is our cat, my CAD file here. So it's a little bit different than the one that I had before. Uh, the one that I had before, um, if it opens up, is this. So it's a little bit bigger and it looks kind of ugly. So I made this one. This piece here is a little bit smaller and it looks good because it's colored. So uh, in this picture, uh, as usual, we have our gearing ratio. So the final gearing ratio is gonna be 30.25 to one. So for each of them, um, and then I changed the belt runs. So that instead of the belts going straight around, there's a bearing here. There's a bearing here that kind of makes the belt go around and down, and that just makes the range of motion a little bit larger, so it'll have a higher print volume. And then I also added this joint here, which is a wrist joint. Um, so usually on a SCARA printer, your nozzle or your tool or whatever kind of rotates, but I don't like that. So this joint here just makes it so that your tool is always facing the same direction. Uh, this is kind of like a little diagram of it. So that's your proximal joint, your distal joint, and then your in quotes wrist joint. And then this face here is what you attach your tool to. So it'll always stay in the same direction. So uh, this is like the main arm bit thing. Um, and that's like the arm bit of the old thing. Um, but I don't, I didn't like that design. Well, it was all right, but this one's a lot better. Um, I think at least. So that's that. Um, I also started kind of building it. So I got that built, but then I also built this. I don't know. It's a little, it's, it's large. So this is the Z axis. So I kind of went a little bit overkill. Um, I used SBR 16 like rails. So they're just like the ones that you attach directly to the, to the thing. And this thing here, this thing that I attached it to is a, uh, it's three quarter inch MDF and it's just kind of like a basic T pattern. It's pretty basic. Um, and then I also got my ball screw. I don't remember what that's called. Yeah, but it's a ball screw. And then it's attached to my new mount bracket thing. And then the arm is going to be like, and it's going to be like, and it's going to be big. So at the moment, like the entire tower is a little, a little over five feet tall. And then the actual print volume or print height is going to be about four feet tall. So what's that like? 1,350 millimeters, I think. And it's kind of cool, I guess. And it has like no play whatsoever. Like, I don't, it doesn't move very. And it's like pretty beefy. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool in my opinion. So that's like what I've got built so far. So of like the final design. But if you're like thinking about it with your brain and stuff, it's like this, that, that thing goes there. And then it's like uh, that part goes there. And then it like, it can move and stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I think at least. And uh, I hope this one works because this is, this is very expensive. And I'm an idiot for like trying to build something that's, I don't know, my arm height. And I'm like pretty tall, so that's like really tall then. Yeah, but it it looks pretty sick though. It like, you can't tell me that that doesn't look cool. All black, orange, got the filament for it. And I'm gonna use, I got this, is it this? Yes, this, this is some orange PTG because orange is the greatest color. So it's going to look exactly like that. And it's going to have a print volume of like four and a half cubic meters. And it's going to be sick if it works, which I'm hoping it will. I might make more videos on this because it's cool, but I don't know. So this video is over because uh, I say it's over.